Before I get off this camera, I just want to acknowledge, uh, or excuse me, point out some uh, individuals who are also bullshit if they don't step up uh, in this moment uh, of awakening for our people. That's what, what I, really what I feel like it is. Um, it, it's a harsh, it's a, it's a saddening, maddening moment, but it seems like the people have been awakened. Um, so that, that baby, uh, Mr. Floyd's daughter who said, Daddy changed the world, we must honor that young lady's words and remain focused. And so I'm going to call out some of you other motherfuckers that if you don't step up, you are bullshit. White college coaches, specifically white college coaches of uh, 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 basketball and football, if you don't step up right now to affect change, you are bullshit. You are making millions off recruiting black people. That's not bullshit. Alabama whole defense damn near be black people. Kentucky whole starting five black people. Quit bullshitting and use your pool to help black people. Otherwise, young black recruits, fuck these programs and take your ass to HBCU or go to the G League or do whatever, sit out and train and you. Your ass gonna go pro because they ain't gonna deny your talent. These uh, pro teams wanna win. You feel me? That's just real talk. Use your fuck white college coaches. Use your juice. Fuck the boosters. Now, I know you feel like, oh shit. Uh, 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 if, if I come out too strongly, I might piss off the boosters. Let me tell you something right now. Back in the gap, when uh, your boosters didn't want you to recruit black players, they had to goddamn give up on that. Why? Because they wanted to win. They wanted bragging rights for their school. Like when Texas Western whooped up on Kentucky, shit, uh, uh, that changed the game. Some of these racist ass boosters knew shit. We got to goddamn ease up. We got to let these black folk come on. We got South Cooney, but well, other people can get our ass whooped. Same thing old Bear Bryant. Got that whooped by a black man winning them. And then uh, congratulate him. So that's a football player. Had to start recruiting black folk. White college coaches. You use your juice to truly help your players. Otherwise, you are bullshit. Owners in the NFL and the NBA, if you don't use your platform and your political connections and your billions of dollars, you motherfuckers got billions of dollars, and y'all are spread out across the major cities all across the United States of America, to keep it real, if y'all wanted uh, police brutality to end, y'all can end this shit. If y'all use y'all juice in the country club with the other billionaires you fuck with, y'all can get this shit stopped immediately. Because y'all run the fucking country. If you don't use your juice right now to do something, you are bullshit. And your players should hold you accountable. Black athletes, entertainers, Business moguls, if you aren't using your money, your power, your influence, your connections in this moment to elevate your people, to fight back against this uh, uh, oppression, you are bullshit. Most of y'all didn't exist in the 50s and 60s during the civil rights movement. Uh, 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 the NBA was barely integrated. You had Bill Russell and Wilton and a handful of other black folk. And they weren't getting paid like you motherfuckers getting paid. NFL was barely integrated. You had Jim Brown and a few others. And they weren't getting paid like you motherfuckers getting paid. You had uh, uh, black entertainers, but they weren't motherfucking moguls uh, uh, to, the, to the level of uh, P. Diddy, uh, the level of Hove, and all these other motherfuckers. Y'all billionaire, Dr. Dre, y'all billionaire. 
If y'all don't use that shit, some of y'all are. I commend you if you are. But if you are not, you are bullshit. And we will remember this shit. Because it's going to come a time when you're going to need us. It's going to come a time when your uh, white fans stop fucking with you. And you're going to need to rely on your core audience, the black community, to sustain you. And we're going to remember that you didn't fuck with us in this moment. And we're not going to fuck with you. There's going to come a time when you don't get that role that you deserve. You're going to try to call motherfuckers out for racism. There's going to come a time when you get fucked over by your record company. And uh, <laughs> you're going to swear it was because of racism. And you're going to want our support. It's going to come a time that you're going for a head coaching job. And you don't get that shit because you're black. And we're going to remember when you didn't step up for us right now. If you don't use your influence and your money and your power and your connections right now, you are motherfucking bullshit. We need your funding. We need your influence right now. When there's a war in this country, the rich people fund that shit. The motherfucker might not go fight, but their tax dollars fund that shit. Because they fear foreign uh, adversaries. They don't fear motherfuckers here. They know they're protected by the police and everything else. Political system, they protect by all that. So we are at war. And we ain't shooting that motherfucker. But we're at war. And we need you. Because you're standing on the shoulders of our ancestors. They gave you this fucking platform. You don't have to perform on the chicken circuit. You a motherfucking rappers and, and the RB singers, all that shit. You don't have to perform on the chicken circuit. Just the all black crowds and the little cafes. They the superstars used to perform in that kind of situation. James Brown used to perform like that. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got to do that shit. Standing on the shoulders of the civil rights legend. You motherfuckers in the NBA, these enormous contracts you got. You standing on the shoulders of Bill Russell and them motherfuckers, man. You owe it to them to step up right now. You owe it to them, bro. You actors out here, Kevin Hart's of the world and shit like that. Man, uh, 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 when, when the motherfuckers used to do blackface about us, that was big business back then. Now you making millions, making jokes about white people. And I can understand why people get offended. I don't be agreeing with that shit. But you, but the, uh, mostly they laugh at that because they don't feel inferior to us. You're just entertaining them. So you better use that money you gain from entertaining them to help your people. Otherwise, you are bullshit too.